Uh, dear students, in this section, we will discuss about the continuity equation, which is a very basic equation or a governing equation for the simulation of a fluid uh, through a particular system. The system may be of any engineering application, namely a nozzle, a diffuser, a heat exchanger, a combustor, whatever may be the thing. The main governing equation will be the continuity equation, which is nothing but the conservation of mass, which is nothing but the conservation of mass. So the physical principle which lies in the current equation is nothing but your conservation of mass. Which means if I am going to take a nozzle, I will take a convergent nozzle and the flow is going to happen from inlet to outlet. Let us say from inlet to outlet. Here the mass flow rate at the inlet m dot 1 should be equal to what? Mass flow rate at session 2. Which means the mass flow rate remains constant at any section in the flow. Which means m dot 1 is equal to m dot 2. This is nothing but called as what? Conservation of mass. This is the principle behind which the current equation is derived. So the principle is conservation of mass. And the corresponding governing equation is nothing but kinetic equation. And the corresponding governing equation is nothing but kinetic equation. What is the consideration of mass means? If I take any engineering application device, for example, I have taken here the convergent nozzle. Here, what it says is that the mass flow rate at the inlet should be equal to the mass flow rate at the exit. Or this exit can be anywhere. You can take any two planes also. Here also you can take it. Okay, so at the plane 3 and 4 also what should happen? m dot 3 should be equal to what? m dot 4. So the mass flow rate at any section between any two sections should be remains constant. This is nothing but the consideration of mass principle. So everybody, everybody of us knows density is given by mass by volume. Density equal to what? Mass by volume. So from this what is mass? Mass equal to density into volume. For volume I will put a dash symbol so that you can understand. This is nothing but a dash symbol is nothing but volume. So from this what is mass? Density into volume. What is volume? I can write the volume as area into some distance, area into height or something. So area into distance. So this is the mass. So what is the unit of mass? Kilogram. But the consideration of mass principle doesn't speak about kilogram. It speaks about mass flow rate, which is nothing but kg per second. So I had to divide both sides by time. So divide this time also by time. The right hand side also divided by what? Time. <coughs> so what will happen? m will become now m dot. Up to here it is called as what? m. The unit is kilogram. But here the unit is not called kilogram. It is kilogram per second. That is the mass flow rate. Will be equal to rho into area into velocity. This is by time is nothing but what? Velocity. So if you want I can put it even like this. Rho a v or with an air head. So rho a v. If you want to find m dot 1, it will be equal to rho 1 a 1 v 1. If I am going to take m dot 2, it will be equal to what? Rho 2 a 2 v 2. Okay, so what this consideration of mass principle says is nothing but m dot 1 should be equal to rho 1 a 1 v 1 should be equal to what? Rho 2 a 2 v 2 which is equal to what? m dot 2. So this is the consideration of mass principle says which means rho 1 a 1 v 1 equal to rho to a to v2. Here v1 v2 are indicating the velocity and not the volume. v1 v2 indicate the velocity and not the volume. This principle is called as what? Consideration of mass principle and this equation is also called as what? Kinetic equation. And this equation is also called as what? Kinetic equation. But this equation will give only the average value in a particular plane. For example, what is the amount of mass which is passing across this plane can be obtained by this formula. Similarly, what is the amount of mass which is passing across this plane can be obtained by this formula m dot 2. It gives an average value. But if I want to know each and every values at each and every point, for example, if I want a value at this point, then what I do? I have to discretize. If I want to know the value at this point, then I have to discretize like this. It was two-dimensional. Okay, so if I want to get at each and every point or at each and every instantaneous uh, space and time, then this equation is insufficient then this equation is not compatible then which equation I had to go I had to go with any differential equation or integral equation where it will take care of all the domain 
I will repeat once again. This equation is also called as continuity equation only, where the mass is conserved, where rho 1 a 1 v 1 equal to rho 2 a 2 v 2 or m dot 1 equal to m dot 2 is also what? Continuity equation only. But this gives only the average value in a particular plane. But if you want to know the value of the mass at each and every point in this domain, then this equation becomes uh, not, it is not compatible. So what I do means, I have to go for some equation which will be either in form of partial differential form or integral form. That is what we are going to derive today with the help of this particular diagram. With the help of this particular diagram. Now let us continue with deriving the continuity equation in the form of partial differential form or partial differential equations. Okay. For this, I am going to consider a fluid element. Now, in this diagram, you can see I have drawn a three-dimensional axis where it indicates the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. In this particular axis, I am going to place a fluid element. That fluid element is having a left-hand side face of A, B, C, D and the right-hand side face is what? E, F, G, H. And the front face of A, E, C, G and the back face of B, F and D, H. Similarly, the bottom face is C, D, G, H and the top face is what? A, B and E, F. This is a fluid element. This is a fluid element through which some fluid particles, uh, this is a fluid element fixed in space. This fluid element is not moving. This is going to be fixed. This is going to be fixed. I will repeat. I am going to consider a fluid element A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H where this fluid element is fixed in this space. And I have associated the corresponding Cartesian coordinates as X, Y and Z. Okay, fine. Now what we are trying to do it, we are trying to develop an equation which will give the same meaning as that of rho 1 a 1 v 1 equal to rho 2 a 2 v 2 but it will give the value at each and every point as well as each and every time so that is the main thing we are going for okay now let us say the some fluid particles entering into this fluid element across the face a b c d i will repeat once again let us feel some amount of fluid particles enter into the fluid element across the face a b c d across the left hand side face a b c d or oh, it is coming with the velocity say u it is coming with the velocity u so i will tell now amount of amount of mass entering the fluid element i am going to write as fluid element as f dot e i hope you can understand uh, entering the fluid element across the face across the face a b c d so is mass means what the formula is rho a b mass means what the formula is rho a b so now the velocity along the x direction or the velocity along this x direction is u the velocity along the y direction is uh, small v the velocity along the z direction is what small w since velocity is a vector quantity i can resolve them in as u v and w u along the x axis v along the y axis and w along the x axis so now the velocity along this a b c d phase is u as soon as we know the formula for the mass flow rate is nothing but what rho a v so it will be called as rho and let the what is the area now what are the areas coming this is the area this one and this one so this is nothing but what my dz this is nothing but what my dy so the area will be dy dz so you just multiply a b with a c a c is nothing but dy a b is nothing but what your dz i hope you got it so rho a into v what is velocity the velocity is u the velocity is what u so the amount of mass entering the fluid element along the phase a b c d is gone by rho a v rho is rho area is dy dz and v is nothing but your u along the axial direction okay this is equation number one now let us try to find the amount of mass leaving the fluid element across the phase e f g h i will repeat once again what is the amount of mass which will be coming out of the surface e f g h okay so it is across the phase e f g h is given by what can anyone tell what is the value it will be i know the value at x i want to know the value at x plus delta x in the previous section also we discussed about this one in the substantial derivative we discuss as well as in the direction of RLS equation and Bernoulli's equation we explained once again if you know a value at x you can find the corresponding value at x plus delta x by using 
Taylor series. Yes, you are known. Okay, by using of making use of Taylor series, if you know the value of a function at x, you can find the value of a, the function at x plus delta x with the help of what Taylor series. Okay, the same one we are going to uh, imply here also because the fluid element is having a very small distance delta x or dx here. Dx and delta x are one and same because nothing but a small distance. It's nothing but a small distance. So the fluid element having a small distance of dx, dy, and dz along the x, y, and dz directions. Okay. Now what does the Taylor series say says? I hope I can erase this one because you know the formula for uh, mass rate will be rho a v equal to constant. Okay. What does Taylor series says? f of x plus delta x will be equal to f of x plus dou f by dou x into delta x by 1 factorial plus dou square f by dou x squared into delta x whole squared by 2 factorial plus etc. Since I told delta x is already small, delta x already should be small, then what will happen to delta x squared? It will be further very, very small. For example, I used to tell delta x equal to 0.2. So, then delta x squared will be equal to what? 0 0.04. So, compared to delta x, delta x squared will be still lesser. So, I can remove this term. So, it's enough to have the first two terms in my Taylor series. When I can have only the first two terms, when delta x is going to be very small. When delta x is going to be very small. Now, what do you know at uh, x? I know the value of, at x, I know the mass rate. At, I know the value of mass rate at uh, x location is what? Rho u into dy dz. Now, I, what I want to know? I want to know what is the mass rate at EFGH. So, it is nothing but what? Your rho u dy dz plus, this is nothing but similar to your f of x plus, because you know the value at what? This x plus dou by dou x of your f. What is your f here? It is nothing but what? Rho u is the variable. Rho u is the variable. So, dou by dou x of rho u into <coughs> delta x. Delta x is already there, dx, into this area is already there. So, dy dz. I will repeat you once again. Now, we want to know the value at f of x plus delta x is similar to the mass flow rate at EFGH. This, we can find the mass flow rate at EFGH only if we know the value at what? Mass flow rate at ABCD. Already, I know the mass flow rate at ABCD. What is that? Rho u dy dz. So, first time writing, what is the value at f of x is nothing but what? Rho u dy dz. Now, out of these things, dy dz is going to be a constant. Areas are going to vary. Whereas, rho u is a variable. So, now the function is nothing but rho u. So, it is nothing but what? Dou by dou x of rho u. I have written dy dz, but already the formula is delta x. So, it is dx. So, I hope you got it. Okay. So, this is the amount of mass which is available at what? EFGH. Which is available at what? EFGH. So, the mass entering at ABCD is rho u dy dz. The mass which is available at EFGH is nothing but what? Rho u dy dz plus dou by dou x of rho u into dy dz. Rho y into rho u into dx dy dz. Now, what I am going to do means, I am going to uh, find how much amount of mass exactly which is leaving along the x direction. Is the entry is leaving. So, total what is the net amount of mass which is acting along the x direction which will be given by 2 minus 1, which is given by what? 2 minus 1. I hope I can erase it now. <coughs> so, it is nothing but rho u into dy dz plus dou by dou x of rho u dx dy dz. This is 2 minus 1. What is 1? rho u into dy dz. So, which term will get cancelled? The first term and the last term will get cancelled. So, what is the answer? Now, final answer is getting dou by dou x of rho u into dx dy dz. So, let us have this as equation number 3. Let us have this as equation number 3. What about this equation number 3 indicates the net amount of mass flow which is happening along the x direction. Now, my question is there. I am sending some 5 kg of uh, mass at A, B, C, D and I am getting 5.2 kg of mass at the right hand side phase just for example. So, I am sending 5 kg of mass at A, B, C, D but I am getting 5.2 kg of mass at the exit. So, I am asking what is the net amount of uh, flow which is happening in the extraction. Then what I did 5.2 kilogram minus 5 kilogram equal to what? 0.2 kilogram. This 0.2 kilogram is equal to what? dou by dou x of rho u into dx dy dz. 
my question is when there's a construction of mass is there how if i'm sending 5 kg there should be only 5 kg of the exit but i'm sending 5 kg but i'm getting 5.2 kg how it is possible any idea can you guess because i'm sending only 5 kg but i'm getting 5.2 kg but i'm talking about construction of mass which means the mass would be same mass would be conserved but i'm getting 5.2 kg yeah you are right so already i'm sending only 5 kg i'm getting 5.2 kg means already this fluid element has certain mass out of which it is given what 0.2 kg it's given what 0.2 kg so i'm getting a value of what 5.2 kg so i hope you got the concept so still the construction of mass is there because 5 kg is coming from left hand side 0.2 kg is given from the fluid element so the outside is what 5.2 kg as well as this value need not to be positive always this value can be negative also which means what if i'm going to send 5 kg of uh, certain fluid i am getting only 4.8 kg what happened this 0.2 kg you are right some amount of 0.2 kg of mass is getting what deposited or been put inside to the fluid element it's been absorbed by the fluid element so the mass which is coming out is less than the input but always the mass remains constant the mass is conserved so out of 5 0.2 kg has been absorbed by the fluid element only 4.8 kg is coming out so this need not to be positive as i showed in the formula it can be either positive or negative it can be either positive or negative if it's going to be positive means coming out if it's going to be negative means some amount of mass has been absorbed inside the fluid element so don't worry about this sign don't worry about this sign and don't worry about the numbers also the second thing is so this is the net amount of mass which is coming along the fluid element along the x direction similarly what will be the net amount of mass which will be coming out along the y direction that may be the question so that can you tell me what is the answer so this along the x direction so what will be the amount of mass which will be coming along the y direction here the velocity is v not u so we have to take uh, along the y direction also so the answer will be otherwise i can write it here or if you want we can also write like this amount of it will take some time but nothing wrong amount of mass entering into fluid element across c d g h c d g h is what formula is rho ab rho is rho area is what this area this is nothing but dx into my dz okay so dx into dz what velocity here not u the velocity along the y direction is v so it's rho v in dx du z so what is the amount of mass which will be available by a b e f is given by a b e f will be given by what by taylor series so let us have this as equation of 4 so the 5 will be what do by <coughs> first is we had write the mass which is available at the bottom face so it's rho v dx dz plus instead of do by do x it is now do by do y the taylor series is not for f of x plus delta x the taylor series is for f of y plus delta y which will be equal to f of y plus do f by do y into delta y by 1 factorial so based on this one this f of y is nothing but what rho into v into dx dz so now here the variable is rho v only so instead of f i can put as rho v into what dy because delta y is dy into dx dz so this is nothing but phi so uh, what i have to do the, the net amount of mass which is going to come out say in the y direction will be phi minus 4 5 minus 4 that will be equal to what this term and this term will get cancel so the answer will be do by do of <coughs> rho v into what dx dy dz i hope i have explained clearly also along the y direction similar to the x direction i have written for the y direction for z direction i hope i don't want to bore you so we can take the directly the value that will the amount of mass which is going to come in and going out the net amount of mass along the z direction will be equal to can you tell me yeah do by do z of rho in some v which will come yeah you are right it will be w into what dx dy dz so what will be my next question and what will be your next answer yes you are right so what is the total amount of mass which is coming out of the fluid element along the all the three direction then what i have to do i have to add 3 i have to add 6 i have to add 7 so add 3 6 and 7 3 is the amount of mass which is coming out say the 
a fluid element along the x direction. Six is the amount of mass which is coming along the y direction, and seven is the amount of mass which is coming along the z direction. So we can add three plus uh, uh, what six and seven. So that is the total amount of mass which is coming out of the fluid element. If this amount of mass is coming out of fluid element, so what is happening? Some amount of mass inside the fluid element has decreased. I will repeat the statement. Some amount of mass is coming along the x-direction. Some amount of mass is coming along the y-direction. Some amount of mass is coming along the z-direction. Some amount of mass is coming along the all the, th the three direction means what does it mean? Some amount of mass inside the fluid element has been decreased. Some amount of mass inside the fluid element has been decreased. If I am going to equate both these things, then I will arrive at the kinetic equation. Then I will arrive at the kinetic equation. So I hope I will erase the diagram and I will go with the equation. I hope you are able to get get the uh, diagram. Let us continue further. The amount of mass which is coming along the x-direction is dou by dou x of rho u into dx dy dz. From the fluid element, the amount of mass which is coming out of the fluid element along the y-direction will be equal to dou by dou y of rho v into dx dy dz. The amount of mass which will be coming along the z-direction from the fluid element will be dou by dou z of rho into w into dx dy dz. If this amount of mass is coming in outside the fluid element, means certain amount of mass has been decreased inside the fluid element. So amount of mass has been decreased inside the fluid element. So what is the formula for mass? Density equal to mass by volume. So mass will be equal to what? Density into volume. What is the volume of this fluid element? It is nothing but dx dy dz. I hope you can understand the formula for volume of the fluid element. Something but what? Rho into dx dy dz. It is not only the decrease of mass with respect to time, with respect to time, which is nothing but what? Dou by dou t of rho into dx dy dz. What is this rho into dx by dz? It is the mass. Why? Density into volume. It, this mass is going to decrease with respect to time. So it is dou by dou t. It is nothing but what? Dou by dou t. Why I put dou by dou t? Because the fluid element is fixed in space. There is no need of d by dt. It is enough to have only dou by dou t. So dou by dou t of rho into dx dy dz. Okay, whether I have to put a positive sign or negative sign, whether the mass inside the fluid element is going to decrease or increase, yes, it's going to decrease, which means it become what? Negative. It become what? Negative. So, I hope I can equate the amount of mass which is coming along the all the three direction will be equal to what? If you want, I can write even still here better. So, dou by dou t of what? <coughs> Rho into dx dy dz. So the amount of mass which is coming out of the fluid element will be equal to the rate of decrease of mass inside the fluid element, inside the fluid element. Now I can equate both the things. And I can even take this negative term to the other side. Those, so I am not uh, writing once again. Just I am going to take this negative term to this side. So it will become what? Positive. Then I have to make it to what? Zero. It is nothing but what? X equal to minus Y. I have written as what? x plus y equal to 0. I hope you can get it easily. Nothing wrong in that. Okay. So, I have taken the other term to the, this side. So, it becomes dou by dou t of rho into dx dy dz. Now, which is common in all the terms? Yes, the volume. Then the dx dy dz is common in all the terms. So, we can strike up this one. So, now I can uh, take uh, which one? I can take this uh, last term as the first term. So, dou rho by dou t plus dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to 0. So this equation is known as what? This equation what I have written in terms of equation number 8 is known as what? Kinetic equation. This is nothing but what the kinetic equation. This equation is similar to what? Rho 1 a 1 v 1 equal to what? Rho 2, A2, V2. Both their physical principles are same. Concerns of mass. Here also the mass is concerned. Here also mass is concerned. What is the difference between this equation and this equation? It is average value. It is the value at each and every point. In each and every space. As well as with respect to time. So that is the more important about this partial differential equation. Compared to this average equation. Normal mathematical form. Okay. I hope now you will be able to appreciate the use of this uh, partial differential equation of the kinetic equation. Let us now still explore further more this equation. If the flow is, now the equation what you derived is for compressible fluid or incompressible fluid? 
it is generally it can be either compressible or it can be uh, what incompressible either can be compressible or incompressible if it's going to be compressible incompressible means what rho will be constant rho will not vary if it's going to be compressible means rho will vary rho will vary means it is what compressible <laughs> if density is going to be remain constant means it's called as what incompressible this equation what you written is for steady state or for transient state it is for both steady state and transient state because do rho by dot is also there if you are going to take this this term as uh, common then it's applicable for transient if you are going to make this term to be zero it become what steady state any parameter which will vary with respect to time is nothing but what transient or unsteady any parameter which will vary with respect to uh, which will not vary with respect to time is called as what steady so this equation is a generic equation from this we can deduce the various forms of the equation first let us consider the equation for a incompressible fluid incompressible fluid means what rho equal to constant when rho equal to constant means any quantity divided by time will become what zero so this term will become zero for a incompressible fluid for an incompressible fluid here also the rho is going to be constant which means i will write here dou by dou x i am now deriving the condition for this one because rho is constant means a constant divided by any differentiation will become zero you know mathematics so dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to zero so this is the equation for what continuity equation continuity equation for for which fluid for incompressible fluid for why it's incompressible fluid because <coughs> is uh, incompressible fluid but still what we can do still still it is not complete why means the density is not going to be variable is going to be constant so i can take outside this one so rho of do u by do x plus rho of do v by do y if i am able to take like this density outside only it is called as what incompressible if it is going to be inside means it means what is a variable but it's not more going to be variable it's going to be a constant so i'm taking outside of the, of the differentiating variable plus Rho into <coughs> do rho by do z. So in all the terms which is common, in all the three terms which is common, yeah, rho is common. So rho of do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do z. X into y equal to zero. X into y equal to zero. Now out of these two terms, can you tell me a fluid which has zero density? I'll repeat once again. Tell me a fluid which has zero density. Then you, nobody can give me the answer because there cannot be any fluid without any density. It can be lighter. The density can be very, very less. But we can't tell a fluid without density. So definitely density cannot be zero. So out of x into y equal to zero, this is like x. This is nothing but like your y. Since x cannot be zero, but the product of x into y should be equal to what? Zero, which means what? Y should be equal to zero. So this term cannot be zero, which means what? This term should be zero, then only the part will become what? Zero. What I am about to tell here is that this term should be equal to zero. Do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do x should be equal to what? Zero. Not because rho cannot be zero. Rho cannot be zero. Ah, you got it. So this equation I can further write as <laughs> do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do z equal to zero. Why x into y equal to zero, but x cannot be equal to zero, so y should be equal to zero, which means this is the equation. So if anybody asking you, give me the continuity equation for an incompressible fluid, then what you have to equation you have to tell? You have to tell us what? Do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do z equal to zero. I don't want for three dimensional, I want only for two dimensional, like that if they are asking. Then it's a general thing to leave this one. Then the equation will become what? Do u by do x plus do v by do y equal to zero. What this equation is called as? Two dimensional incompressible continuity equation. I will repeat, two dimensional. Why is two dimensional? Because only x and y is there. It's a what? It's a incompressible for a kinetic equation for an incompressible fluid. Okay. I hope you got the meaning of now. The kinetic equation. So it is do u by do x plus do u by do y equal to zero. Now in the exam, if they are asking, write the kinetic equation for the uh, uh, 
which one for the compressible fluid for the compressible fluid but for a uh, both transient and steady state i will come to, i hope now you are very clear with the incompressible fluid and the corresponding kinetic equation now i'll continue further now in the exam they are asking for a, a, a both steady and transient compressible one okay compressible means what i can't make density as constant density is no more a constant so what are the equation the parent equation is dou rho by dou t plus dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou f of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to 0 here this equation is for what transient why is transient because it is going to vary the time also transient or unsteady transient comma what it is compressible also it is called as what compressible what is this equation is called as kinetic equation this equation is called as what kinetic equation now they are asking let it be transient let it be what uh, let it be yeah transient and compressible is this one now let us make it steady now let us make it what steady as well as compressible then which term will vanish in this equation yes you are right the first term will vanish why even though the density is a variable but it's not going to vary this for time that is called as what steady state any parameter will not vary this for time is called as what steady state even though rho is a variable but it will not vary this for time okay that is called steady state so my governing equation will become dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to 0 so this is the equation for what steady compressible uh, for compressible fluid okay the corresponding kinetic equation is this one can i take the row outside no i can't take row outside of the differential operator why because density can vary density is not a constant density is not a constant density is a variable so in the exam if they're asking you to derive the equation for the uh, which one a uh, steady but for compressible means you have to write like this but if they are asking for steady, incompressible means you can take rho outside. Then it will become dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou a plus dou w by dou x is equal to 0. I hope you now you got a very clear understanding of everything. Okay. So, <coughs> what are the various forms we can write? The various forms of the kinetic equation. We are about to complete now. Okay. So, it's nothing but rho 1, a 1, v 1 is equal to rho 2, a 2, v 2. This also what? kinetic equation only how it is obtained by making m dot 1 equal to m dot 2 then what is the another governing equation dou rho by dou t plus dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to 0 what is the another equation it will be dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v plus dou by dou z of rho w is equal to 0. What is the another equation? Dou by dou x of u or dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z. This is the kinetic equation for transient compressible fluid. This is the kinetic equation for the steady uh, compressible fluid. This is the kinetic equation for uh, steady incompressible fluid. Steady incompressible fluid. So we are able to derive all the uh, forms of the kinetic equation as well as in the Reynolds transport theorem uh, I hope uh, we can have this one and one more equation is there that equation is nothing but um, dou by dou t of triple integral of rho dv here the v is nothing but volume plus double integral of rho into this v is velocity into dA is equal to 0 this equation is also what kinetic equation only this equation also says what m dot 1 equal to m dot 2. These equations are in the form of partial differential form. This equation is in the form of integral form. This is what? Integral form. This is what? PDE form. PDE form. This is what? Normal mathematical form. Normal mathematical form or average form. But all these things have been arrayed with what concept? The mass rate at any two sections will remain constant. That is nothing but the consideration of mass principle. I will take one more minute how we got this expression in form of integral form with the help of Reynolds transport theorem which you have derived already in the previous sessions. So please go through those sessions if you have doubt in the Reynolds transport theorem. Just I will be deriving, uh, getting this expression from the Reynolds transport theorem. Thank you.